Hi, y'all. You guys, it's this early birds, aren't you? I, got, I actually am here a bit early. Oh, I have to make sure, though, that I um, send the link. Wait a minute. Huh? Wait. Oh, there we go. Now, got to send the link to 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 my friend um gail let's find gail here gotta find gail where's gail gail where are you gail g a i l hmm There she is. Okay. Okay. There we go. Now. Now we are cooking. Now we're cooking. Let's see who I see. I see Vamsey. I see a lot of Vamsey. Okay, I see Janice. Hi, Janice Jackson and Beetle Chick. Beetle Chick is just hanging and waiting. And there's Arlene. Arlene, it is so good to see you. And Lala Gamma Lori Way. And let's see. And Samantha Owens, Angela Snyder, Janet Burgess. Yes, Papa and I are doing very well. Thank you. And then there's Lottie Faith, the balloon bandit. Oh, I see. Pat Toodle. Oh, and there's my Jennifer. Jennifer, that's my beautiful daughter. And um, oh, and there's Gail. I gotta add her. I gotta add Gail. Gail, add to stream. There she is. Yeah, actually. I um, decided I better come a little bit early because sometimes I have a little trouble. And so I figured just in case there was trouble blooming, then I would um, go ahead and come a couple minutes early. Because usually I come in here and then I end up being late because I got to fix stuff. But I think I'm getting the hang of this. So getting the hang of it. Okay. Now, let's see. Don, hi Don and Aaron Morrison. I hope you're feeling good. And there's Bootsy. There's Bootsy. So good to see everybody. So good to see everybody. Um Yeah, we still have like what? 4 minutes before actually starting time. And so today we're going to be doing, oh, I hope I don't get too many notifications. I think that I get them out and then there they are again. Um, we're going to be doing a, a um, <laughs> Bootsy wanted a seat up front. All righty then. What do they call that up front? It's the um, mosh pit, I think. The mosh pit. Hi, Jeffrey. Okay, Jeffrey is my grandson awaiting a hello. <laughs> He's my boy. Oh, there he is. There's Nerdsley. Nerdsley is my grandson. So I have my grandson and my daughter. 
That's wonderful. Yes. Oh, the notification notifications are fine. They keep Lala Gamma away, awake. Hi, Martha. Rebecca Clark. Oh, you're watching TV. I'll go up my daddy. Go on. Go on. Go on. <laughs> go up my daddy. Yeah. Well, yeah. I wanted to shut the doors because Tom's out there eating and has the TV on. Mm. Yeah, we don't want to listen to him chewing. <laughs> He's having soup, so that's not too likely. Oh, <laughs> and there's Larry Turner popping in to say hi. Hi, Larry Turner. How's the wife? Then there's Victoria Phillips. Or did I see Tracy Turner up there somewhere? Maybe I missed her. Yeah. Gosh, Tracy's been, I she's been posting so many neat things on, on the Scrap and Lizzie Unicorn um page she's really getting into this slow stitching i love it just look yep sloop soup slurping soup <laughs> slurping that's what it is that is wonderful rebecca clark terry I'm white I'm afraid I'll be hearing Elvin scratching at the door, though, because just like your dogs are, don't want to be on the wrong side of the door. That's for sure. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> they want to be right where I'm at. Whatever room I'm in, they're, they can be sound asleep in here, and I can move into the into the front room, and they'll go into their beds in the front room and go just right back to sleep. Yep, but, that's what happens here, too. Yeah. Especially so, Elvin. Mm-hmm. Oh, and there's the little red wagon, Renee. It is good to see you. So good. Oh, Janet Burgess started her book. That's good. My book is getting so... This one here is almost a pillow. And this is this book is going to be a pillow. I, I've told some of you how it's going to be... My, my books are going to be end up to be couch pillows. Because now, see, usually you make a beautiful couch pillow and you just stuff it with polyfill or something. Well, this is going to be a cu um, couch pillow, but it's stuffed with art. And so what a beautiful pillow this will be on my couch. And so, but it'll be, I'm going to put, I haven't put the ribbons on yet, but I'm going to put three, three ribbons one on each corner and one in the middle that will tie to the back cover and that'll keep my book closed. And then when, you know, somebody is over, when Jennifer, when you come over, you have to read my book. And so then it'll just unpin, I mean, untie, and then we can go through the book. And I've put even some fun things like, like here I put, I have the pages only safety pinned in, so I um, I just put some fun things on here, and these are just little beads that I put on a piece of string and tied them to the tied them to the um the, the safety pins, and then there you go. And let's see where are we at today? We're going to be working in this book. Okay, this is what we're going to be doing to now on this on this page. See, it's safety pinned in there, but I tied a little ribbon and just put a little bow on each safety pin because I was thinking that I would um, stitch it later, but I don't think I will. I think I'm just going to let it be safety pinned in there and then like the little bows on the safety pins. I think that looks pretty. Now here, I accidentally did this one. Oops, let me move this. I accidentally, oh, wait a minute here. Okay, I accidentally did this one. I, I accidentally learned this on my own. I was using a, just a small piece of fabric and I started putting a little stem and a leaf, figuring I'm going to make a flower. Then I realized that the same stem and the same leaf 
Um, oh, Little Red Wagon, Renee. It won't be. They're, they're inside. They're inside <laughs> the book. They won't come mm -hmm. undone. They won't come undone, Renee. They're safe. You'll be safe if you, but you're not going to sit on the pillow anyway. But anyway, I seen how it's the same on both sides. And so that's when, um, oh, and Cordula, hello, everyone, internet not working. Oh, Cordula, it's good to see you, hon. Oh, my goodness. So here I was doing that on this little piece right here and but i was putting a bunch of little greens just all up and down and then i realized it's on the front and on the back so what i did was voila it matched so i put flowers on both sides so it's a double-sided it's a double-sided slow stitch well then it wasn't then I didn't have any room to just stitch only one half of it. So I added this little piece of denim and I still might put more on there, but it makes that page where it'll, I can flip that open in, you know, on the page that one I did stitch on there. And so, and I can still put something underneath this. And then on this page right here, the next page, I started doing the same the same thing i'm using just green threads and i'm just putting some greenery on them and then on the opposite side it shows the same greenery because it's going all the way through and so this will get flowers put here the same as here and the more we put flowers the thicker your book will be and um, the thicker, and you know, like when you're doing a junk journal or something and they get alligator mouthed, some people don't want their books to get alligator mouthed. Well, on this, you do want it to get alligatorish because it makes your book then all fluffy. And so then once it's got its ribbons on there and I can tie it together, then this is going to be ready to go and be a couch pillow. And so I think it's pretty awesome. And I don't know, maybe somebody else has done couch pillows, but um, I don't know. I think it's a good idea. So what, what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to... Um, I'm going to I'm going to show you how I did that. I'm going to just show you because I I probably will make make a bunch because you know I already got started because that book's getting filled up and I showed in a video how I did this one. This is a um, old faded, very rustic looking placemat, and I did this in a video where I this one I stitched all the pages in. And so I haven't got anything put on the pages yet, but I have things ready to go on the pages. See, I stitched these all in with just a running stitch, but I'm putting, I'm just putting things in here that I know I'm going to want in this book. So none of them are attached yet, but, um, but they will be, they will be. And so this one's still pretty flat, but it's not going to stay flat. And then I figure on the front, I have this old door. The, um, it's a pot holder. It actually was my grandmother's. And oh. so, so I'm going to stitch this on here somehow. But then I'm going to also put maybe some, maybe some um maybe i'll just layer some flowers little um yo-yo flowers or something you know maybe i will layer some of those on here on and and see it's stained right here on this side so maybe i'll cover that stain up with a flower and um Maybe I'd put some flowers up in this corner too, but I'll decorate the front of this as well. 
but this one i i want this more to look where where the cover of this first one is more like a shabby chic look this one is going to be more primitive although the inside of that other one doesn't look shabby chic but but what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take a pencil and i'm going to take my pencil and i'm just going to draw a line up here and that's going to give me this is my main stem and then i'm just going to draw kind of a leaf right there and then i'm going to draw kind of a leaf right there okay and i'm sure you can't see that but i just drew that with a pencil and that just kind of shows me where i'm going to do my stitching and so what stitching i'm going to use is just a borrow stitch or a running stitch but what I do, um, no, Beetle Chick, I haven't found the bug yet. I'm still looking. It's in here. Oh, my gosh, I feel so bad that I haven't mm -hmm. found that. But I'm going to just do the blink, the um, running stitch, and I'm just going to go all the way up that stem. And I'm just going to do the running stitch. And I'm just going to go up that stem. Boy, I'll be happy when I find that bug. I am going to be so happy because it's in, it's in this room. I know it's in this room. But I have fabric. I got so many things. It's in here, though. But see now how, the, how you can see it is... Um, I just stitched along that stem line. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back, back down the stem line, but I'm going to go in and out, and I'm, more, and I'm doing the running stitch again, but I'm doing it in the blank spaces. So as it turns out then, the whole thing will be um now see you can do this you can do this other ways because they have different stitches that you know that you can use in um embroidery but i find this to for me this works so much easier so much easier this way and then you get that that line but you can do, and I can't think of the name of the stitches, that you can do these in other ways too. But I really like that, that way. And so then I'm going to go and do the same thing on the leaf. On the leaf, we're going to do the same thing. And... Oh, there's Lise. Hi, Lise. And then there is Happy Ray of Sunshine. Good to see you. And Janet Bur Burgess or Burgess, good to see you. Now, see, when I go up this leaf, now I got to the point of the leaf, so I'm going to go down to to down the other side. And you may be able to do a leaf even without drawing a pencil line. But, you know, a light pencil line on a light piece of fabric is, um, it's not going to show. There we go. And so then, as you can see, it's just like all the dashes. And so then I'll go back and I will go back with the running stitch, but this time filling in all the blank spaces. So you just poke your needle in both ends of each stitch and pull it. And then that covers up those blank spaces. And so... Boy, I want to thank everybody for Papa's happy birthdays. Oh, my gosh. He got happy birthday messages 
from so many people. He's got cards. And he got your card today, Gail. Oh, wow. That yeah. took a while. And so, yeah, he got that today. And it's beautiful, Ooh. of course. Wait a minute. I, I got to um, figure out where I went kapui on this thing here. Just a minute. I got to fix myself. I didn't pull. Well, I guess I don't need to worry about that. I'm trying to go with just a single thread, but somehow here, my single, th oh, I see it was, it started down here where it started getting all double. Let me fix that because I just want a single thread. I usually kind of keep track of that as I'm stitching, but, but I wasn't keeping wasn't i uh, wasn't keeping my eye on things so because i just wanted single thread yes papa had a awesome birthday he said he's never had so much attention on a birthday ever in his life which he hasn't he really hasn't so man sorry, sorry the card got there a day late I mailed it on Tuesday, but the, with the storm and stuff, I don't know if that's loaded down or what. Yeah, it may have, but that's okay. He's we we celebrate birthdays the whole month or longer if we have to. <laughs> so, Don, that is really just I don't know. I I have notifications turned off, but and some of them don't come through. Like my mail doesn't come through, but still some of it is still coming through yeah that's crazy and so and so here i'm going with my my running stitch around the second leaf and then there I'll go back and fill in those spaces. And I'm trying to think. They have what they call a split stitch or a stem stitch, I think. And um, and you can do it that way, too. But I find this way, for myself anyway, is much easier. And it's just as good. And since this is just... Oh my gosh, that is driving me crazy now. How can I turn that off? I don't know how I can turn that off. I wish I knew too, uh, uh, Lizzie. I don't know. So I have to dig around a little bit more on my computer to see how I can make sure everything is turned off. Throw coffee on it. What are we going to throw coffee <laughs> on? I had old Bootsy. He's going to throw coffee on something. Oh, boy. I was thinking today, you know, I was digging through some some of my linens, you know, in the linen closet. and Because I'm trying to downsize some things. I've been watching too many um, hoarding videos. And I thought, oh, my God, I am. <laughs> I got to um, I got to get rid of some stuff. Because I otherwise I'm gonna be on that show. And so when I was going through a linen closet and I found the prettiest um I've got a really pretty pillowcase and it's got this beautiful um lace on the edge, but it's dingy. It's just dingy because it's old. And so then I thought, well, we're well, gonna tea dye it. I'm gonna tea dye it, and then that will then we will like the dinginess. So I think that'll be cool. So there now, and then you can also go up the center of the leaf and make you know you can um, take your pencil, or if you have one of the pens that. Turn the volume down on my computer. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because 
wait a minute. Where's my, oh, there's my mouse. The oh. volume. Wait, let me do that. Well, that's simple. Yeah. I'm going to just move, turn. The, okay. I got the volume turned down. Now say something. Can I still hear you? Hello. Gail? I don't know. Can you hear me? Can you, you hear me? I can't hear Gail. Uh-oh. See, but now the, I just see, okay. I can't hear Gail when I do that. So I got to put well, some volume on it. Well, that's a bummer. Like this. Okay. Now I wonder if I can hear Gail. Hello. Okay, I can hear you. You're not as loud, but I can hear you. But then the um, notifications aren't so loud either. Yeah, but when you're, that's something to remember though, when you're doing a um, video you re recording, you can turn yeah. the, yeah. Yes, that's true. It's all Martha's fault, Happy Ray says, which it <laughs> is because it's, <laughs> It's on our little chat group that we we chat back and forth on the kitten crew, and so, and they're and they're running their mouths. Yeah. Okay. So, and and Happy Ray says it's all Martha's fault. We'll let it be Martha's fault. It's got to be somebody's fault. So anyway. But now it won't be as loud. <laughs> but I do have to. I, I know there is a way. There has to be a way. I can just. Yeah. Um, well, I had that problem, too. I hated having all those bings boing all the time. And I, I managed to turn it off on my computer. But I don't remember how I did it. Yeah. Now, see, I do like to see. I do like notifications if I'm just. You know, I like to hear the ding dongs when I'm just doing something. Okay, you can mute the group for one hour. It's in the settings of the group. Oh, really, Arlene? Mute the group? What group? It's a group. <laughs> it's a oh, group. isn't that our Facebook group? No, it's in the group chat that I'm in. I have a couple of different group chats. I got one that's oh. just family. And I have a couple that are, um, I have a couple groups that are just, just friends or, you know. But are that's the ones that are sending you notifications while we're doing this? Yeah, they're chatting. They're just running their oh. mouths. They're just running their mouths. Like you just, you uh -oh. just never know. You never know about some of them peeps, you know. And so then I'm going to have to check later, see what all I missed. Okay, so now I'm going to, I want to finish this leaf up here. Because, just because. So I'm just running a stitch right up the center of the leaf. And I just go forward and then again backward. And then the whole thing is filled with its little center vein. So it looks like a real leaf. See, and then see, you just go the opposite side, the opposite way, and then you've got the vein on both sides. And there we go. And then you can, like, you can go and take your pencil then and just draw some pencil lines for the sideways veins. And... Oh, I'm glad you turned me down a bit. I hear Tom using the uh wet vac downstairs i don't know if you can hear it oh it's loud nope i can't hear that um oh we've oh, been good. using uh, we've hi been barbara using... Badger. i guess they can't hear me at all now oh, no i hear you i hear okay. you barbara um, Badger said she misses hearing me in the chat <laughs> oh really i don't know can you guys hear me I don't know. 
And Martha says you're loud, Gail. Oh, okay. Thank you, Martha. And I'll Violet, try not to be so loud. I do have a loud voice. I hear okay. you. Yeah, and Janice can All hear right. you. Okay, Good. so yeah. If somebody cannot hear, then it's probably um, their computer, maybe. I've They're noticed when you're recording your... Hey, Liddy, uh, Lizzie? Yeah. I've noticed on a lot of your videos lately, you have this... It, the volume is down on your recording because I have to turn you way up to hear you. I don't know why. Okay, well, there was one morning I did a video, and I just was quiet on that one. Yes. No, no, that, that was... I know, and I understand why, but this was uh, before that... And uh, quite a few videos, but I mean, it's okay. I just had to stop and turn the volume up really loud <laughs> oh, okay. on my computer. I don't know if anybody else noticed that. Yeah. Okay. Well, as long as you were able to turn it up and still hear, and I don't know, because I don't change the volume, volume okay. on my computer, so I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. Really how that would go? Because I mean, I I know you were you're loud in the the live streams, but yeah. um, it just seemed like you were really quiet. I mean, it sounded like it just wasn't as uh, loud on okay. the recording. And you know, I have been having um, a lot of trouble even with my internet lately. It just oh no goes for some reason it'll just kick off for no reason and then i have to restart it and so i'm not sure why that is but i don't know if that has anything to do with the um with the sound and so on these these little veins in the leaves i'm just putting two stitches on each vein and then going back and then it covers it up on both sides. So you have the stitch, the, the veins on both sides. And, um, and, and, gosh, why, why am I at a loss for words today? That's not like me. I'm usually never at a loss for words. So now I'm going to just kind of tie that off right there and then go do the other leaf. I am just having so much fun with this um, slow stitching. And I'm telling you, it is like, where is my scissors? Oh, there they are. It's, it's so relaxing, so relaxing, so comforting. Not that I need to be relaxed or comforted because I'm all good. <laughs> Lala says, I hear Gail's typing. She types really fast. Yeah, yes. I do. Spit it, out, spit it out. Oh, Bootsy says, I want a slow stitch tag from Janet Nash. I uploaded a very short video about it. It is beautiful. Oh, I'm going to have to watch that. I need to watch that. Um, Janet does beautiful work. Beautiful work. So that means yes, you can mail all the way from the UK. That is oh awesome. yeah, Roy. Roy, I finally got to watch your little uh happy mail video finally <laughs> this afternoon. Yeah, I have so many videos on my watch later list because I get busy. Well, we've been busy here at the house. I have a, a concrete floor now in my dining room because we took up the carpet and we weren't sure what we were going to do with the floor, but now we have been looking at different things you can do, finishes for concrete. I just wanted that carpet out of there. And I said, right now, that car concrete looks beautiful because I'm so happy to have the carpet out of there. But... um. There's a lot of things you can do with concrete to finish the concrete. 
And so I am almost thinking that we're going to go that is to do a finish on the concrete. You can make it look like wood. You just always have to make sure you're wearing your bedroom slippers because it'll be cold. I put throw, rag, throw rugs down too, but then Jennifer comes and pulls them all up and says, quit putting these throw rugs in your floor. You're going to trip and break a hip and then I'll have to take care of you. And so, and she leaves and I put them back down. Not really Jennifer. Yeah, really Jennifer. Okay, so anyway, there now I have my, my, my leaf, my stem and my leaves. And they're in and they're on both sides. So I'm going to trim off these extra little strings. And there it is. And it's the same on both sides. Now for the flower. To add the flower, I want to layer my flower. I want to layer it. So I'm going to use, like, okay, I love this one. Thank you, Cordula. I love that flower. Isn't that pretty? That's a beautiful flower. And maybe I'll put something in the center. Maybe I'll put a yo-yo in the center of that flower. And then that's where my flower is. So, so I know exactly where to put the flower on the other side. I might do a button. I'll do the button later, though. Or do I want to put this one that's already got a button? No, I don't want that one. Do I want this one? No, I don't want that one. I want this one. Okay, I could put that button on still later. But so that I know exactly where I want the flower on the other side, I'm going to just take a straight pin. And I'm going to poke it right in the middle of the flower. And then there it is on the other side. There's my straight pin poking up. You just don't see it on it because it's right there poking straight up. And then I can get my other flower. Now, here's a larger... Um, Someone sent me this beautiful um, yo-yo, and it's a larger yo-yo. So I'm going to put that right on the center. Let that pin poke right through there. And then I need something in the center of that flower. I need to make a center. i got a pile of beauty sitting right here. And maybe I want this green. Do I want it to go on this way, or do I want it to go on this way? No, nope, I want it to go on this way. So now, because I put that pin there, I have that exactly lined up with, with the flower that's on the other side. All right. And so now I'm going to get, let me see, where did I put those little pretty buttons? Let's see, I got pretty buttons. Here's my pretty buttons. Cordula sent me these too. I swear that Cordula, she's been, she's been um, spoiling me rotten. I'm telling you. So, but these are cute little buttons here. I have. Let's see. We'll put a pink one on this side. Go in there. There we go. Okay, and then the orange one I think is going to go on the other side. Oh yeah. Oh, wait a minute. No, I'm going to put the orange one on this side because there's orange there. Oh, boy, we got to be matchy-watchy here. And then the pink one will go on that side because there's pink there. Okay, so then, voila, I'm going to get my needle and thread. I still got my straight pin in there holding these all together so I can go all the way through. And now this is going to be, um, boy, look how that went right through in the right place. I didn't have to feel around for the... Roy, are you leaving? Okay, you have fun wherever you're going and whatever you're going to do. Oh, must leave to weekly bingo with Miss Richard, 1981, from Richfield, Minnesota. Oh, wow, I wonder if that's anywhere near Cloquet. That's where I was born, Cloquet, Minnesota. I don't know where Richfield is. Most people from Minnesota are from the Minneapolis area. 
And then I say, oh, no, nope. I'm north of that. Okay, so then I will put that pin through there, the needle through there. Okay, now I can pull my straight pin out because I'm all straight now. And so then I have got my hubster is making more coffee. Man, I need air freshener. That just, I love the smell of coffee. Oh, and there's Adele. Hello, Adele. And Eugenia. Eugenia Osborne. I love that name. Ouch. I had a friend named Eugenia. Well, she was actually, she was a, she was a, a um, resident where I worked. Um, and then Sandy Rector, and there is Irma, 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 Irma. Did you get your new bird, Irma? And what did you name him? Irma was getting herself a new cockatiel. I don't know if she got him yet, though. She was waiting till he was weaned. Okay, now go through there, needle. Okay, now it went through beautiful in a second ago. We turn button, turn the button. I probably don't need to go through it all that many times. It's not like it's going to be unbuttoned. Get that needle through there. Come on, find a hole. Find a hole, needle. All right. And Duke, hi. And there's Mandy, too. And there's Di Di. How wonderful. Thanks for coming by, you guys. I am trying to find where that needle can go through a hole. Now, that's not a hole. That's the edge of the... Oh, there it went through the hole. Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. Yes, right now his name is Apollo, subject to change. Oh, well, Apollo's a good name, though, for a bird. I like that. Okay, so now I think I've got that stitched on good enough. I'm not going to try and get that thread through there again. Okay, so I'll just get that through there because I'm going through pretty many layers. And then it becomes very thick. But when you add this to your, your journal, pillow journal, you want it to be thick because you're wanting your, your pillow journal to be thick. You want it to be thick and cozy. Thick and cozy. So there I have my flower on both sides. My double-sided flower. Isn't that beautiful? And I wanted to show you too. I want... See, here's a little... Um... um a little flower that I made out of a strip of, of muslin. You can use a strip of anything. But this one, how long is this? This is 10 inches long, this strip. And um, so I just tear it. I just tear it. Okay, and then when you tear it, then you can um, pull strings to make it to make it um a little bit rustic looking hi susan mooney and chris chuck sharon tamila oh she says i remind her of her dear mother oh i hope you loved your mother no this flower this is made from um this flower here is made from um Oh, what did I just call it? Muslin. Muslin here in the United States. Calico in the UK. I think in, in, in that area they call it calico. And here we call it muslin in the States. And now I'm just doing along one edge, just the running stitch. You know, that running stitch is probably a stitch we use the very most in um, in, in our slow stitching 
so many things you're going to do just with in and out, in and out. And so I'm going all along trying to stay quite close to that edge, but now not too close because then it might come on. I, I guess it's about a quarter of an inch from the edge, if, but it will unravel that on that side too. So you don't want to go real close to the edge. There I got the whole thing. So I'll just pull that through. And then I'm going to, then I got that whole gathered little flower on that string. And then I'm going to just tie it. I'm just going to tie it. I don't want to pull it real tight because then it makes a lump in the middle. So I try to tie it a little bit loose, not real, real tight, unless you want a big old lump in the middle. And so then I will make sure I have that in a good knot. And I just, in, if anybody knows any other kind of fabric flowers to make, um, you guys let me know because I love making different color kinds of flowers. And like this one now, the more you shred, the more strings because it will um, it will unravel really, really nicely. Now, this here flower on the back of this, this was sent to me by Cordula. And look how pretty that one, the edges, is so frayed. I love that one. That is so pretty. And some, some fabrics just do fray better than others. So... And I think that's beautiful. And then when you get like a, like here is a pen, uh, hox, uh, hexagon. And, um, and if you take and put uh, uh, this, put the, one of these flowers in the center of your, of your yo-yo, a larger yo-yo or a hexagon like that. And look how pretty that looks. I think it looks just beautiful. And so now that's my double-sided flower. And that is the little flower. And then let me get to, back to my page. Let me get back to my page here that I was on. I love my little beads here. I just love things to touch and feel. And I went ahead and see these I just had pinned in. I stitched them and now I did that this morning. I just love doing this so much. Okay. And hey, where Lizzie. Lizzie, somebody asked if you were planning on uh, selling any of your stitching books. I think selling she means. Me? Yeah, I think so. Finish? Not right now. Not right now. I'm not thinking about doing that. I'm kind of greedy, you know, and I kind of, I, I kind of think I almost, I don't know if my family really wants them, but I kind of want to maybe let my family have them if they want them. And um, I don't, but now I have been selling, um, journal kits which include a a um hmm a placemat and it includes the pages muslin pages that you can either pin in or you can stitch into your book and then start your own. And when I sell them, I add also a package of um, a package of odds and ends of laces and fabrics and and things like that. And what I put in is all kind of a shabby chic kind of colors, you know. So it's all neutral colors that I put with. And so, but now. Now, like this one here. Now, this is this this is a flap, like you would put even in a in a um, junk journal. But then I use these little clips like this, and I just clip that right on the edge. 
So then that keeps that from flip flapping. But see, I can still open it up and put something underneath. Now, let's see, how's our time going? Um, 8 12. Okay, so we still got a little bit more time for me to play. But now I want to do the same thing here. I want to put flowers. I want to put flowers. Maybe what I'll do is I'll do this one here. I don't think I'm going to get a button already. Let me see. I can get a button. Let me get. I might get my cordula buttons. What did I just had them in my hot little hand? Oh, there they are. And I'm going to get those buttons. These are little wooden buttons. They're so cute. And so, two is I'm going to get my straight pin. And see, because now this page is going to be this greenery on this page is the same on the opposite side. So now I set my flower there. I set the inside. I, I layered it. So I got those layers. So I have them layered. And um, I'm going to just put that straight pin right into that buttonhole. Hole. Button hole. The hole in the button. And then it's going to poke out right here where I want the next flower. I mean, it's opposite flower. So then there's that. And then I'll put this on here, right? Get that right in the center. And put it right there on that, on that doomsflodgy. And then get my other button right there it is. Now, let me see. Did I have another threaded needle? I tried to thread a few needles. Okay, here. Will this go through that? I hope so. Yeah, so I am going to put that needle through there and try not to poke myself with that straight pin. And you're going through a few um, layers there, so it got to help it now. I got to help it. Ooh. Yeah. Ow. Yeah, you got to be careful. Needles are sharp. That went in sort of sidewards. And, but I want it to come through the button, the hole in the button. There's a hole in the middle of the button. There's a hole. Okay, there it went. Yeah, it's going. It's going. So I got, oh, you know what I do? I keep this pair of pliers because sometimes um, I don't have any up right now. I sold, I posted five of them the other day and within an hour they were all sold. And so, okay, now I can pull my straight pin up because I got my button lined up. I got my flower all lined up. And so then I'll go back through the other side of the button. Yes, I don't have them. And I just now today got more cigar boxes for my kits. And so I have got like a stack of cigar boxes. And um, and um, so I have got boxes to go for. So I can add some more um, slow stitching kits. So I'm going to have those. Hi, Angela. So I'm going to have those um, listed. Prop. Maybe I'll have them already listed tomorrow, the slow stitching kits. Now, I won't have the, um, I won't have the, the, the fabric journals listed yet. Oops, I didn't get that right in the middle, but it's close enough, Elizabeth. Close enough for horseshoes. All right. And so now I'm just going to go through one time on this because I am using a whole, all six strands of embroidery floss here. So that will hold that on there. And then I'll tie that nice and tight. And then I'll snip it with my unicorn snippers. 
and there we go. Now I have that. Well, my button on this side didn't line up real good, but that's okay. It's fine because, see, we have no rules. So I got a button on this side, and I mean, and a flower on this side, and they're lined up right on top of that stem. And so then, what time is it? Okay, we're doing good. We, we, um, this live stream, we only go for like about an hour, a little bit more than an hour, because we usually go ahead with the, um, the door prize at an hour. Okay. Yeah. Now, um, yeah, like I said, the Lala, the, 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 the kits will be up, the kits for the, the slow stitching kits will probably be up tomorrow but the um the journals won't be yet because i got to get them together so give me a couple days for those and i'm glad to see that people are buying them because because they're awesome and then if you buy one then i know you're putting you're putting your um you're putting your slow stitching in it and it's going to be beautiful. It's just going to be beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now let's see here. I mean, I got to find one that's got I'm digging in my pile of beauty over here. Let me make sure I got, okay, this one's got a pretty big, oh, ooh, yeah, that's pretty. And so Lala, um, Lala posted that she she posted your Etsy uh, link uh, for everybody so they know to where to go look. Okay, and just go ahead and and mark it as a um, favorite because right now there's nothing in there because everything I put in there has sold and so there's nothing in there right now, but there will be real soon. And, and it's amazing. You all just, you guys are helping me and Papa out so much. Not that we're destitute. We're not. We're actually very rich. We're very, very rich. Very rich. <laughs> Gail says, no, we haven't started yet. Geez. <laughs> you got to wait for Gail to say start. When she I says say start. Go. Or go. I say go, yeah. When but not yet. I'll, I'll post it in chat when we're ready. Yeah. Yeah, wait till you see it in in the chat. Be meanwhile, know. make sure you're on live chat. And if, if it shows up, if you hover underneath the video screen, and if you see the word live, make sure there's a red dot by it. I think, I don't know how it works on every... Yeah, on every um, device, but it works on a computer that way. Sorry, Lizzie, go ahead. No problem. You're good. You're good. You're good. Okay, so now I am putting my... Okay, wait a second. What am I doing? Oh, I forgot to tell you. I actually sat down the other day while I was watching TV and I made two uh, uh, yo-yos. Well, good for you, my friend. <laughs> my first two i haven't done anything with them since then but at least i made them <laughs> that's good that's very good because they can get addicting making them because i'll sit here and watch a movie on my computer and just sit here and make yo-yos and yo-yos and just keep making them and they're because they go together real fast you get on a roll and you just and they just keep going i've so heard now, of a People making coverlets or, you know, like um, quilt of a sort out of nothing but yo-yos. And they, they put like uh, batting or something inside of them, you know, make them puffier. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yes, yeah, then sew them all together. Does anybody remember my mother back in the day? She, she was a nurse, and so she would make... Um, things to go in the gift shop at the hospital where she worked. And one thing she made jillions of uh, were little clowns. 
that were made out of yo-yos. And so clowns? The, the yes, the yo-yos were stacked oh, like clowns. Clowns. Oh like yes, I do remember those. And the yo-yos were stacked. And she'd make a stack like yep. long enough for the leg and long enough for the other leg and then bigger ones for the body and then for the arms. And so she'd she used a lot of yo-yos to make them. And I don't remember what the head was made out of, but um, but she made them just to donate to the gift shop at the at the hospital where she worked. And they were so cute. I don't know if anybody still makes them, but um, and 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 Duke says her grandmother used to make them for for them, and they were adorable. They were absolutely adorable. And so now here. I put, I now on this page, I've got on both sides, a flower and a flower, and on the other side, a flower and a flower. And they just line up completely. And I'll put more flowers on here, but right now, and, and I might put some more green down here for some grass. And maybe I'll add just some little, little flowers in, here and there too just some little ones because here i've got some really pretty little ones and so i think i could really decorate this page up very pretty but just making sure i have this on the same place on the other side i will have another a flower and it doesn't have to match it can be completely different but um i have gotten now, three people have sent me yo-yos already made, and be, and each one, each artist, each yo-yo artist has made different ones with different fabrics and different buttons, and and they're beautiful. They're just beautiful. But see, this here, this here is an amazing page i think and it and then you have covered both sides this page has got still a raw edge so i may um stitch some lace to this edge already still but i'm going to be getting busy busy on on finishing this one up and, and i may not even finish this one up before working on my other one that I've already got started actually. But so many different things that you can do. So many. And 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 let me check my book and make sure I didn't have any notes. I tried to write down notes that I want to remember to say. Um okay. All I had on there was to thank everybody who purchased kits from my Etsy shop. You guys are just amazing, amazing, amazing. And I've already saved up enough money for my taxes that aren't due till next month. It's usually that gives me a little stress knowing, oh, God, taxes, I got to save and scrimp. Well, I've already made my tax money. So anyhow, um so that's what this is now this uh let me just go through this real quick i know i might bore you with going through this so many times but each page is so different on this page i use some twisted rope and just and then just um whip stitched it all around this here little uh, image that i put there and this one, I think everybody has seen that one. Probably got bored with looking at that one. This page has got more space. I will put more stuff on that one. This this one, this image, I believe, is pretty much finished. And as you can see, some of my pieces are not completely stitched down. And that is okay. That is just pretty much okay because it is your slow stitch art project and however you end up doing it is right i might put a button in the middle of this yo-yo that one might need a button 
these ones I don't know if I'll put buttons. I might just leave those ones like they are because sometimes. And I like when I put my yo-yos, I like to overlap them a little bit. Like put them in threes or put them in fives and overlap them. I usually always threes. Either if I've only got one or I've got three. I don't usually use two, although there I've got two right there. And they, those look okay too. So. And then here I've got, and then this, you I got, this is a three layer flower which is pretty and then on these leaves i just put what they call a satin stitch in there although my satin stitch doesn't look very satiny but it's as good as i could do at that moment so it's fine and there's my flowers i just did and then the flowers on the other side i love this blue gingham that is so pretty and this one here is just like a little flag that I put together with just a piece of fabric that's got borrow stitch all over it. And then I stitched this little heart on there. And then I put some a little bit of braid there and then just just um, fabric strips. And it's just pretty just like that. And then when you flip it up and there's a flower underneath it. Everything you do is pretty. Oh, thank you. And so, and everything you all do is pretty. Don't ever sell yourself short because whatever you put together and put in your book is beautiful. Now, this one here, <laughs> this one here, I had just put some squares together, pieces together, and I just slow stitched them together. And then I put this here piece of like ribbon, it's kind of velvety, and I put it on there and put this flower on, on here. And then I said, oh, I shouldn't have put that flower on that way because this here, the writing goes this way. And so then I put a button on this end, I put some more stems down here. And so it just goes all over the place. And so then it's not upside down anymore. And this, I love this one. I just think this one turned out really awesome and this has got quite a few different pieces of fabric that I just stitched together then lace this was some lace I put over it and another piece of a just a piece of a doily there and then some more little pieces of doily here I put a button in the middle of that one and I love this little image of these two ladies sitting at the beach having a glass of wine I just think they are beautiful. I think they're beautiful. And you can tell these are ladies of wisdom. That means that they have got some age on them. And there they are having a little spot of wine at the beach. And that looks so pretty. And then I put the three yo-yos here overlapping them a little bit. And it looks so pretty. And here I put three overlapping a little bit. Put a button here on this one. Did some... There's a strip of lace on there, and I put some um, of those French knots on there. And then on this, uh, I had some of this wool, and I just put that on the on the safety pins. And then, and then on this one, I had this page that is got both sides. And so, and I still may do some more on this side of it, but I went ahead and just stitched, no, pinned it on so it flips. And then underneath, then I have this one that I did. And then on the back page, I put my bohemian tree. I love my tree. I just love my, I just love doing this. I just think this is so much fun. And, um, and I love doing this. Now, next week, I, I did this here butterfly. This butterfly is very puffy. It's just in the print, but it's very puffy. And I'm going to show you what I did on this little puffy thing. Hi, Joy Robinson. It is so good to see you, my Joy. Susan Ernest, did I see? I don't know if I even said hello to Susan. Uh, and, she just got here. Okay. That's so good. So good. And so... And there you go. And that is my book almost completely finished. So 
probably by next Monday, I'll have my ribbons on there so I can tie it shut. And it'll probably already live on my couch. Because that is where it's going to live. This is my first time on live chat. Lizzie is so very awesome. I have some vintage handkerchiefs to add to my book. Very good. Yes. And see, when you have those kind of things, your vintage memories from vintage memories that might have been from your grandmother or your mother and you got them folded up and put in a drawer well if you have a a fabric journal and you decorate that journal up any way you want then um you can put those things in your journal and you don't even have to slow stitch on them you can slow stitch them into the um into the journal put those beautiful things in there and that's like i say on this this one that i'm going to start getting together i'm going to put my well it flew away but my grandmother's pot holder is going to go on here and i've got a couple other pot holders too that are in this room somewhere probably with beetle chicks beetle um and i've got one that's like a little dress and one that's like a little pair of bloomers and those i want to slow stitch into one of my fabric journals too because you put those memories in there and actually use them rather than just to keep them stuffed in a box oh there's barbara batzer um instead of having them just stuffed in a box put them and by making a um what i call my fabric journal pillow then Oh, thank you, Sharon. She says she's going to be a regular visitor. Thank you so much. And Janet says she hopes her thrift shops open soon so she can get some things. And it is amazing when you're at a thrift and you look for, like, my pillowcase that's got the, um, like, eyelet lace edging on it. And if they're stained, you don't have to worry about that because you can cover up the stain or you can just tea dye the whole thing and give it a vintage look. Or if like a doily like this, you can cover up part of it. And, um, you know, there's so much you can do. And then if you look at the placemats, the fabric placemats are wonderful. So many things you can do with them. If you find like a vintage or a vintage doesn't have to be vintage but an old lace curtain then you've got so much lace in there and you can't beat the prices it's so much better than going to um buying lace new so this this is amazing i love this so much this is just so much fun and um and also look i got my bag of trims here and and strings when i pull these when i have a little piece of string where did i put all them strings i just pulled off of, but i always save my threads i don't throw these threads away i put them in that bag and i keep saving these are just all threads that i've pulled off of different things but this then will make stuffing and we're going to use these kind of threads and stuff like this for next week when we um make our puffy page we're gonna have a puffy page next week puffy page. A okay. puffy page. and so and there's journey nope actually honey 7 30 on eastern time is when when i um when i come in on just on mondays and then through the week now this past week i didn't make very many standalone videos I think I only need one, maybe even. It was just one of those weeks, you know. I don't know. I think everybody has one of those weeks. Uh -huh. So, okay. So, I have, for, for the little door prize, I have pieces of fabric. And these pieces of fabric were supposed to go to a different winner. But she never sent me her address, so she never got them. But these are just extra little pieces of fabric that you can use in your... Um, I have them stitched on a piece of 
of um well then you can use these too but i have them stitched on there so that when i have them in the envelope they won't squish together because if they squish together then they'll think it's a package and think that we owe them more money and but that's what the prize is i might stick a little piece of lace in there too or i might stick a little piece of something in there as well that you might want to um adhere to your slow stitching project but i do Are we ready to start lizzie yes go ahead now all right when you see the word go in chat, not before, wait till you see it, then you can put in your number, just one number between one and 120. Go. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, Lizzie, go on. The numbers. I'll give you about a minute. Hopefully, I'll be getting that, um, um, oh, what do you call it, uh, apron that I won at one of Stacy's auctions pretty soon. I think she's finally mailing it, and oh. I'm going to do some slow stitching on that. Oh, that'll be neat. Yes, I've got a couple aprons I want to put slow stitching on because mm -hmm. when my daughter worked at um, McDonald's, she had to aprons from mcdonald's and um they didn't want them back after she quit there uh -huh. and changed jobs and so she gave me those aprons and i thought oh these will be perfect i'm i've already on one of them i've already put some put some yo-yos on them and give them some color i think they need a bunch of color sharon only one number sweetheart sharon only, only one yeah. number <laughs> Yep, them are the worlds. Everybody got their numbers in because I'm going to say stop pretty soon. And we'll take Sharon's only her first number. Right, right. If she's new, then we'll go. I think 22 is her first number. So um, whatever number she put yeah. in first. Adele do that too? Do I? I saw somebody deleted, somebody deleted a, a deal. I forget how to say that. Adele, here's Zoe. All right, I'm going to say stop. Oh, I see Kendra. Hi, Kendra. Sandy Rector. I'm seeing some plenty of names. It is so good to see all these names. I'm so glad all of you came. Okay. Gail said stop, so now we're going to go and, um, okay, Sharon. Okay, Sharon put in a lot of numbers, but the very first number she put in, I think, is 22, so that's her number. I don't think she put one in. Oh, no, she put 85 in first. Yeah. Okay, always remember, though, you can only put in one number since sharon is new we're going to kind of bend the rule today and only take her new number and then we'll um i don't yeah think i saw when she put in 85 way up at the beginning okay so then that will be her number then is 85 yeah. okay we're going to go now and i'm going to turn this thing on and i'm going to push this button over here Please I don't know how I can make it any more clear. Number between 1 and 120. And for some reason, Arlene <laughs> deleted a deal Here's and she had 25. I see that in here. I looked at it. Okay, 38 is the number that came up. 38. Google well, found well, number 38 30, for us. 36, okay. It went off already, but it was 38. Okay, 38. I see a 36. Hang on. Okay. 
Yeah, I see Don Brigman has a 36. I don't see anything closer, I don't think. I'm looking again. Yeah, I'm kind of looking too. And good, I good, yeah. <laughs> no, that's that looks like it's the closest, Don. All righty then, all righty then. Oh, there's Yolanda. I don't think I even said hello to you. Okay. And Adele, Adele Smith put in more than one number. We just got to oh. remember, remember for next. Yes, please. Next week <laughs> that we I must have posted it a reminder. Yeah. Only one number. Okay. So now who did you say that was? Her name is Dawn. Hold on. I got to go back. Or maybe, Dawn, you can type in Brigman, B-R-I-G-M-O-N-D. Okay, Dawn, please find my email address, which is below the video or any of my videos. The email address will be there. Please send me your address, and then that way I can send you these little fabric pieces that you can use in your slow stitching. Oh, Adele said she deleted herself. Oh, you yeah. did? Oh, I oh, could have okay. swore I thought somebody else did. Sorry. <laughs> okay. We don't want you deleted, though, Miss Adele. But just do remember, everybody, that we just go with the one number. Please don't put in too many because then we get all confused. We easy, we're easily confused. And yeah, so, um, I understand other people do giveaways differently, but this we're kind of doing it, doing it like um, Dee Dee Willingham is the one that I got it from. It seems to work the best when you've got so many people in chat. Yeah, where you just there's do Barbara Chicken one pot number. Society. Chicken Pot Pie Society. Oh, Chicken Pot Pie. <laughs> <laughs> and Aunt Artsy Wannabe Nancy. It's good to see you. Kathy Weir. I'm seeing some names I didn't. Um... Oh, Arlene says she deleted her second number. Okay. I thought I saw that. Okay. Uh, so anyhow, but yeah, we go, when there's somebody new, sometimes they don't understand because some other people do it differently. Yeah, they do. Yeah. But that's why I keep posting reminders before we get ready to do it. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, and we just started this um, Monday night thing. This is only what our fourth yeah. week. And so it takes a while for everybody to kind of get used to how we play the game, right? And right. so, but I am so happy to see all of you here. Right now I see that there's 73 and I think it was even up farther than that. Thank you, Lala. Lala put my email in, address in there. So, um, Don, there's my email address, and be sure and send me your mailing address. And this is always open, whether you're overseas or next door neighbor. You know, you it's open for everybody, and um, because it's not that big and heavy of a package, so it's all good. And um, so I'm going to read now. I always read something. I just usually just open the book and I've got a few different books that I go by. This one is Poems of Faith by Helen Steiner Rice. And I've got three or four books by Helen, I think three books by Helen Steiner Rice. I love her poems. There's different books, different things that I read, but I after each after each um, one of my videos, I read something inspirational or, or um, thought provoking. It's just something I just that makes me feel good. And let me let me just read this one here because I usually just open the book and read whatever I open it to. And here it says, "In all things, give thanks. Blessings come in many guises that God alone in love." devises and sickness which we dread so much can bring a very healing touch for often on the wings of pain the peace we sought before in vain will come to us with sweet surprise 
for God is merciful and wise. And through long hours of tribulation, God gives us time for meditation. And no sickness can be counted loss that teaches us to bear our cross. And that is very good. So much of us are, are with um, some kind of a, sick, a sickness. And, you know, um, and so this is very good. In all things, give thanks. If you've got a bro broken leg, then you give thanks that the other one's not broken. But um, so that's very good. I love Helen Steiner Rice. And I love these books. And I got three of them now, and every one come from a very kind and generous um, subscriber. So I really appreciate these books. So I'm going to go now. We've been on here for an hour and 15, 17 minutes. And um, and that's about as long as we ever we ever stay. So I thank every one of you for being here and look for some videos of the week that will be more ideas and things for slow stitching usually. And um, sometimes I might throw in different, but, um, but then again, next Monday, 730 Eastern time. And I'll see you all again. Thank you so much for coming. And Gail, thank you so much for your help. You're welcome. My pleasure. Night, and night, everybody. God bless each and every one of you. Every step you take, every move you make. And may he bring you back safe and sound, happy and healthy to the next video. God bless. <laughs>